No, that's not big enough. No, that's not big enough either. That's more like it. We're delighted to have you with us, and we extend a cordial welcome to you. We've lined up the top stars from Hollywood and from all over the world to entertain you on our giant screen with the new colorful motion pictures you've been hearing about and reading about. To add to your enjoyment, we're all wound up to bowl you over at intermission time with live wire service at our snack bar, where you'll find a tempting variety of favorite foods and beverages. Your continued patronage is very, very welcome. To say how much um, it has meant to me to have known how appreciated and loved Vic has been. I mean, I don't think that he realized it himself. You know, and I'd say sometimes, Vic, do you, do you really think that we're making any kind of a change in people's lives? So we lived in New York. We were much accustomed to. Uh, going to films in the same way that people read novels. And out here, there was 1972, there was absolutely nothing. You couldn't see a film, foreign film out here for anything. It's an attempt to bring the entire film culture into one place. A friend of ours had a dance studio. She let us use it. We got a 16 millimeter projector. We rigged up a screen and we rented films and we put out a little uh, mimeograph flyers. We were getting pretty filled up and we realized that we could actually pay rent. And so uh, right upstairs there was a big loft, it's the old Huntington Firehouse. We did it like a kind of Soho, colored lights and stuff. And uh, people just kept coming. The place had really no air conditioning and it was hot. It was more like a closet. In the winter, because there was never much heat, you froze. And so the office was not, you know, a, uh, a swell place to be. We had been uh, operating for about a year, and uh, but we really were in great need of funds. And in 1974, um, New York State Council on the Arts, much to our amazement, gave us our first grant saved our lives. So the town had this facility that was not, they were leasing it from the school district and they offered it to us and we took it and that was in August of 77. So we went from 100 seats to a 400 seat fixed seat theater which left us in a state of mortal terror. It's one thing to fill 100 seats it's another thing to fill 400. Well, it was in 1989, we get this call to say, oh, we would like to help you. So I didn't answer it. So she called back the second. She said, I want you to come and talk to me because we really want to talk about something significant. Actually, it took about two weeks. We put together a page describing what we wanted to do thing, a rough estimate of what it would cost, and something else, a drawing. And then three weeks later, we had a million dollars.
Lucky, lucky me. 